I will be demoing incremental reload, which enables users to configure their dataset cache to insert only new records or update existing records and insert new records upon reload. I'm in the edit definition screen of a dataset, which is where I will configure the incremental properties. I'm pulling information from a usage tracking table stored in my Oracle database that tracks queries executed across my OAC instance. To configure incremental, I'm going to switch the data access mode from live to automatic caching. Once I select automatic caching, I'm going to change the cache reload type. You can see that there are three options on the screen. Replace existing data performs a full reload of the cache. Load new and updated data adds new records that don't currently exist in the cache and updates existing records that have been modified since the last reload and add new data to existing data adds new records that don't currently exist in the cache. For this use case, my source system only adds new queries, so I'll select add new data to existing data. There is some additional setup required. User key columns is a required field. This is one or more columns utilized to identify unique records. In this case, I'm selecting the ID column, which represents a unique query ID. New data indicator column, this is also a required field. This is one or more columns that must be of date or timestamp type. This is used to determine whether data has been added or updated. So I'm selecting start timestamp. Incremental offset time is not required, but this is used to adjust the last reload time to account for any time zone discrepancies between the data source system and OAC. At this point, I'm going to rename the table and then save the data set. When I save this data set, a job is going to kick off to run a full load to populate the cache. For the purposes of this demo, I've skipped ahead to after the first full load has completed. I'm going to show you how you can execute an incremental reload next. To execute a reload, I'm going to click on the action menu on the data set and click reload data, which should open the inspect panel to a reload data tab. You'll see two options at the top, Run Reload and Run Full Reload. Run Reload will reload the selected tables with their associated cache configuration, and Run Full Reload is going to force a full reload on the selected tables. I'm choosing to run an incremental reload, so I'm going to leave the Run Reload button selected and click Run Now. You'll then see the history screen where your job will be placed in the queue until it's picked up, and you can see that my incremental run is running. Notice that the first entry took 14 minutes as the total duration. This was the first initial population of the cache that was a full reload. You can see some job level information in the general tab and then task level information on status. And you can see that refresh mode is full. Navigating back to the history page, you can see that the most recent incremental run is complete and it took significantly less time than that first run. Again, you can see job level information as well as task level information and the logs are available by clicking on the hyperlink associated with the status.